Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about three plan fracture imaging. So to understand about what is three plan fracture, we should understand about its definition. So three plan or three planar fractures are of the distal tibia only occurring in adolescent as the physiological closure of the physical plate begin medially the lateral open crisis is prone to this type of friction. Most observers regard it as a type 4 sole to Harrison picture. So when we talking about replanar picture, that is we focus on the distal tibia picture, which is can be classified in type 4 sole to Harris picture of distal tibia. So it comprise of a vertical fracture through the a, the epiphysis, a coral simple fracture through the physis, and oblique fracture through the metaphysis. If I, a physio closer has to begin at one end, Three plant fractures have occasionally been reported in other side too. For example, distal radius, proximal tibia. Yeah. So it is point. So the first one we're talking about three plant fracture is we focus on distal tibia fracture. However, we can use it to distal radius, proximal tibia, distal female, where we can classify all these fractures as the high hole Fracture of the Salter Harris. Then, adolescent with closing a pivotal plate, they are the most common ankle joint fracture with the low fracture. Symptoms comprise of pain and inability to wake bear. Possible signs include swelling, like river pain, and or deformity of the ankle. Mechanism, external rotation and supination. Is the main mechanism of injury in lateral T plant fiction. The uncommon major variation usually occur with an adduction force. So this means that three plant fracture the place is depend on mechanism. So it could be happen in lateral or major. But according to the epidemiology, lateral three plant fracture is more common than major three plant fracture because of maybe related to the anatomy of the spine. 
differential analysis. We should differential with the low fraction, which means lack a metaphysical fraction. Plunder diagram. Standard and call series such as AP lateral and multi. Best you to define this. Sorry. Best you to define this place. You to the performance. A four dimension characteristics, the fracture typically resemble short aristide fracture on a pin, view, and short harris to fracture on lateral. Small dislocation and vertical fracture itself are frequently overlooked. And CT is advised if there is concern. So, for example, for this case, the frontal and oblique or mortal view, we can see the fracture involving the growth plan with horizontal. Sagittal and coronal component. I saw in the image, especially on the oblique homotai view, we can see clearly the picture goes through from the metaphysis to the physis and epiphysis. So it goes through sleep place. Second example is a fracture involved the distal tibia metaphysis, physis and epiphysis, which we can see clearly. In the public or motile view, in the image of the middle one. And the frontal and lateral need to have the experience to look for the fracture line. So as I can show, we can see subconsciously line fracture go from the epiphysis through the crisis and output to the metaphysis. But how to see where is it in the front of you, but we can see very subtle replacement of the epiphysis in the multi view in the middle image, but on the lateral view of the Rice image, we can see oblique lucency line across the metaphysis with this place uh, on this rough cortical line. CT scan, the main modality of choice, permitting identification of fracture pattern and particular concrete. Fragment number and orientation relationship. For the same reason, CT had in treatment planning as well. So on the last image is the 3D image reconstruction. We clearly see a fracture line cross pre plan is go from the epiphysis, supervisis, and metaphysis of this star tibia. And on the left, on the right image, 
We also clearly seen the effect goes through the metaphysis of Blake and horizontal to the crisis. Another example CT case of three plant fracture. We can see clearly the fracture line cross three plant more appreciate in the 3D CT image and the site target. in the coronal view of the middle image. And the, in the axial view, we can see the three pigmentation of the distal uh, tibia. Among I may be used to reveal associated ligamentous injury, also control pressure and control picture. Treatment and prognosis. Treatment option comprise of surgery, open reduction and internal flexion or conservative management, long leg cast, immobilization, easier arrest by operating in 7 to 21% of case, really leading to Angular deformation, deformity, the significant of preserving the crisis in questionable given the limited remaining growth potential by patient with greater than two years of growth, the remaining should be 12. Thank you.